Good day, I'm Clive and welcome. All right, today is the Savata Yakri Medium on the left side of the screen. Along the back up here is the Savata Trim Side Release Warrior Buckle Pals Mount 25mm Females. Uh, we've got the Savata Hatka 12 litre backpack here on the right, and we've got the Savata Elastic Cord Kit green here with the four line locks. Now what I want to do today is use the elastic cord and install it to the back of this and also using the four loops at the bottom of the hacta, make one on the bottom for carrying on the bottom of the pack. Now this kit comes with four line locks and they are really stiff and strong they've got double springs in them so when we're going to be putting this through and this looks like it's about four or five mil elastic it's going to take some effort but we'll get there now to do this the hacker i've got two meters exactly it worked out to work nice to fit it through tie a knot and have the line lock on there to sit at the top now I did get the green to match and it's not the green of the actual pack itself it's the green in the webbing so it's a really dark green I don't know if you can tell that on the camera but that's okay so we'll get that done we'll measure out the bottom one get the bottom one installed on there and then using the 2M side release female buckles. I'm going to show you where I'm going to fit them on the pack and where I'll be fitting it on the Yakri medium. So this means with using the Hatka on the back that will increase this from 30 litres up to uh, 42 litres and the side vertical pouches that I normally use will go on the side they're four liters each, so I'll be able to lift this pack uh, or increase the pack capacity to 50 liters. And if I wanted to, I've got a pouch which can go on top, which will bring it up to 53 liters. So if you're thinking, what shall I do when it comes to, okay, I've got the medium pack, shall I go and buy the large pack, but I won't use the large pack very often. Think about similar to what I'll be doing in this video. Drawn in the hector on there, which brings it up to 42, and the side pouches, which, which will actually bring it all the way up to what did I say 42? Yeah, we'll bring it up to 50, sorry, not 54, it'll bring it up to 50 litres in total. So, oh, and like I said, if I put a top one on here, it'll be 53 litres. First thing I will get done today, which is going to be the most difficult is this cordage. Like I said, I cut it to two meters. I got the lighter on it to warm it up. Rubbed it, uh, rolled it in my fingers and it closed off the ends to stop it fraying. And I'm just gonna do this as easy as possible for me. You might do it slightly different. Find in the center of the cord and that's gonna be level with the center down here. Now I'm going to come out two from the center so one, two. So my actual cord is going to go through this one here and it's going to be the same on the opposite side. So one in that one and one, two and I'm on the third one. And the reason for that is if I'm going to have anything in here, I want the one at the bottom to hold if there's anything sticking down there. I don't want it like this, so there's a big gap. It just makes it a little bit more secure from this point. Then from here, I'm going to come from this point and I'm actually going to take this one to the next one along. So that'll be one, two, three, and the actual fourth one. And the same this way. And that's going to spread it out. So if I put a jacket in there, it's going to hold a lot easier. 
but I'm going to cross it over this way. So there we go, we've got a small section to hold and now it's coming up to the larger section where it's going to come over and I'm going to keep it in line with this one. One, two, three, four. I've taken this one far enough. And he went three. One, two, three, four. Oh, that's four. My eyes are deceiving me. Three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Now, I've seen a lot of people finish it off here. But I want to bring it up just a little bit further to give us more actual coverage for holding things and make it a bit more secure. The only thing I think I'll be putting on the morale patch, uh, the hook and loop part here, will probably be the smiley face, the happy face from Savata. That's it. So next, I've got to get the cord lock on that. First one goes in easy, and now the difficult part, squeezing the second one through, which is going to be a bloody pain by the looks of it. did it. It was not easy. Well, I'll show you on this one. What I ended up doing is at the top here there's little notches to actually grip onto the cord. I actually tried to force it down to the bottom and that's how I got them two at, both at the same time to actually eventually come through. But they are strong springs on them. <sighs> Try and get this cord level on a smidgen more. That's it. And just do an overhand knot. I'm sorry if this isn't <laughs> very clear on the camera, it's just a lot more difficult than I was expecting. Right, just the overhand lock there. So that's the bungee cord done on the back of this now. Now it's going to be fun doing it all over again for the bottom here. And like I said, the headcar has got four loops, loops for you to put your cord through. I'll do that and then I'll come back to you. So there's the bottom cording done. This is the Helicon Tex, um, yeah, super tarp small which is about the same size as a poncho. It will fit in there. And it's fairly secure. I 
how much cord? What did I do with my cord? Yeah, we've got about, what's that, about a metre of cord left. So we use two metres of cord to do the one for the back. And we just use about a metre for the bottom one. And that's allowing for room to tie the knot on and to adjust it and give us a bit of expansion. You really don't want anything too big on the bottom, but yeah, that's quite a comfortable size. So we used a metre of cord on the bottom. And you can see these line locks are stiff. They'll, with time, they'll get a little bit easier. But at least you know with the line locks being stiff, your gear's gonna be secure. Elastic cord kit. You've got four little line locks and four meters of cord. So let's move that to the side and two spare. Next, what we're going to be doing is fitting these onto the hatka so we can put it onto the yakari medium. We've got one, two, three, four. Now, because I've got this on the bottom now and I may be carrying something there. I just want it up a little bit. So I'm going to use the lower webbing. So the second one down and then third missing, then we'll be using the fourth. And they're quite simple. All we do is push that behind the webbing, fold it over a little bit and tuck it and that'll hold this Let's see if we can get it on camera for you. Right. Put the large one underneath. Sorry, large one underneath. Pull that up. Fold it and it's done. Well, I should have put that the other way around. So let's undo that again. We've got the first two done. Now I'll do the same on the opposite side. So now we've got all four buckles. So we've expanded the capacity of this from the 12 and we're now able to put things on the outside. And now we're going to expand the medium. We're fitting that on there. Get the camera, I said, just at the camera. Now, the way we're doing this, we're going to be using the expansion straps on the side here. So, all we're going to be doing is undoing that, undoing that. They just stay where they are. There's no splits in them to take them off. So, that's going to be sat one. Next one, two, and we'll do the same on the opposite side, part on compression strap, tighten it up a little bit while there's nothing in there to hold it in place. So there you go, the hatka with the buckles, with the bungee, all installed onto the Yakavi Medium. So just as that stands now, we're looking at 30 litres plus the 12 litres, that's 42 litres, plus what you can fit on the bungee on the outsides. What I might do is go find the other two pouches and put it on so you can see it all fully done. We need three rows to install this. So like I usually, I'm gonna use the ones nearest my back. So it'd be the first one and the third one there. And that just helps keep some of the weight.
So now we've got the 30 litre pack, 12 litres, which is 42, and two four litres, which are the extra eight. So just there, there's 50 litres potential to use. Now it all depends on the weight and the weight you can carry. And we've got the three litre, which can sit on top. So we're gonna be up to, what did I just say, 50? It'll be 53 litres. Now when I install this, I have the zip towards my head. So when I'm carrying it, so I can just put my hand over the back, unzip it and grab if I need anything that's in there. Where did I go? Thirty litre pack is now a fifty-three litre pack. That sits on top nice, plenty of room in that, that's a three litre one. And I said I can just lean over, grab, put something in there or take out. As long as it's not too fiddly little things, and I'll probably have to take it off. But if it's for a general thing like grabbing a poncho out of there, just hands over, grab it and pull. Now if I wanted to, I have the two one litre pouches, which I have used on the side here. But I have difficulty carrying my little emergency pouches when I do that, but yep. So again, putting them on to the hip belt will bring it up to 55 litres. So that's how you turn a 30 litre pack into a 52 litre pack, or 55 litre pack, sorry. All right, let's put it 30, 42, 50, 53, 54, 55. And I've also got these little pouches for my phone camera stuff. What's in there at the moment? Oh, it's got a mile map in that one. Emergency whistle, my torch. Yeah, that's the emergency whistle. Oh, that's electronics. The cable for the phone. Go for the camera, charging it. Yep, yeah, so they are. The Savota. Yakri Media. Let's get the list, I'll get it all right. The Savota 2M side release warrior buckles, which is the ones that connected the uh, Hatka to the Yakari. The uh, where have we got the got the bungee. We've got the, yeah, we've got the bungee cord. We've got the Hatka. We've got the Yakari medium. We've got the buckles and the three liter pouch on top from Savata and the two one liter pouches on the side too. Now I'll put a list of all those links for Survival Supplies Australia where I get them from. And I paid for all these myself, they weren't given to me, so this makes it so much easier. The good part about having one of these sort of packs and the pouches is I could take the pouches off and I can use it as a day pack or just a 30 litre, or I could throw a couple of pouches on if I wanted to go overnight and then a couple more pouches or a bigger pouch or like the hat care can go on there to carry the lighter stuff so it's not pulling too far. The hat care has also got a pocket in there which you can put hydration so you don't have to actually have it inside the main pack if you don't want to. The hat care comes off and it's a standalone backpack of its own of 12 litres so you can use it for your uh, emergency and evade or escape and evade and anything emergency drop your main pack grab that put the essentials in there and start making your way back to safety so yeah little 30 litre pack now a 55 litre pack so i hope you've enjoyed the video and if you have and you are already a subscriber i'd like to thank you very much and if you're not already a subscriber please go down below click on the subscribe button Click on the notification bell next to it and select all so you can be notified of all future videos. So, and hit the like button, the thumbs up. 